All right, folks, uh, we're back with Richard Horowitz, and uh, we're, uh, we're ready, ready to go. Uh, Rich, uh, welcome back to the program, and uh, we've got uh, the memory clip of the week is going to be what? Number 3382. Okay, good. Uh, what, what's that going to cover? Any, any, any kind of idea on that one? Yeah, yeah. There's a head of a, uh, of a think tank in the Persian Gulf. Who explains why he believes Iran is a state sponsor of terrorism? Okay. So, well, that sounds that sounds pretty interesting from that perspective. Uh, let's let's go to a Syrian clip now. Uh, uh, you brought this one up, and uh, let's show everybody what's going on uh, with Syria. And uh, and here, uh, let me go. Yep. Uh, here we go. Here it goes. لكي يحولن غدد السم القابعة في رؤوس البعض ممن يقفون في وجه التاريخ ونعرى نتحدى ننشد الأشعار ونصنع أطفال جيدا Well, I think uh, that was uh, uh, certainly an inspiring clip. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> where do we go from there? Uh, let, let, let me explain what that clip is and, and what its implications uh, are. That, that clip is from Syrian television in 1984. Uh, it was not shown on, on Western media, or at least on American media at the time. I actually remember when the clip came out. You see Hafez al-Assad, who is the father of the uh, current uh, Syrian president, the former Syrian president. It's a... Uh, uh, military uh, uh, show of the courage of Syrian soldiers, and one of the things they showed were these women soldiers uh, eating live snakes, and you see Assad smiling and his entourage clapping, and this was from 1984, and it wasn't shown on U.S. television. Yeah, it was, that was kind of sick, huh? Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's not... Uh, I can understand why it wouldn't be shown on on primetime uh, live television. Yeah. But at the same time, two years before Hafez al-Assad, the Syrian president, killed about 20,000 uh, people in, in, a, in the Syrian city of Khama, it's called, because they were uh, trying to uh, rise up against his regime. I think the death toll now in uh, Syria is uh, reaching the 10,000 uh, uh, mark. And uh, there were reports in the last few days of, of uh, Arab uh, countries going to donate about $100 million toward the uh, Free Syria uh, movement. And the United States seems to be taking some part in this. So when we see what's going on in Syria, the death toll, I remember when the death toll reached 5,075, and now, now it's... It seems to be coming close to 10,000. You look back at that uh, picture in 1984, and you see how the Syrian army was, was being trained and what the president of Syria at the time was, was proud of. So it gives you a sense of what we're dealing with. Yeah, it is, um, it is a very, very sad testament to what's going on around the world uh, in Syria and, and it, quite frankly, in some of the other countries as well. Um, you know, the, the, the common people who have really no political say um, are really being dealt some raw hand there, um, and there's no doubt about that. Um, so, Rich, uh, thank you very much. Do we have anything else in, in the news that you wanted to bring up, or was that it for today? Well, that's it for today. That's okay, it. great. 
All right. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody. That is uh, Richard Horowitz. Uh, we thank you for coming on to the program, and we'll see you next, Rich, uh, next week, Rich. Uh, safe travel, all right? Thank you. Thank all you. Right. All right. Thank you again. Yeah, all right. Bye.